welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are sitting in a dirty dirt pit lane here on a set of Corsa because we're going to be taking the M4 ESDA comp car out to see if we can drift on a rally car off course. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. Let's get to it. So as I said, we are on a rally cross course. And we're going to see if we can't do some drifting. We are on factory tires, not dirt tires, as you can see. Oh, boy. Yep. This thing just wants to get all over the place. So we're just going to go full send. And see what we can do in this F4 on a rally cross course. Oh, dirt. Definitely very slippery. But we got this. Gonna manage to throw out a little bit more. Oh! I mean, I don't know how we made that, but we did make that. So, with a bigger rally cross course, we're obviously gonna hit some pavement sections as well. This is something I thought about trying. Did see this track new on the Google Drive section. So I'll leave the link for this track down in the description box below. If you guys want to give it a shot yourself. I definitely want to see that jump from replay angle. We're also going to drive this track in. Oh, third person. Another little... Oh, car gets very weird over jumps. And the weird dirt to pavement transition is definitely uh, something to get used to, but... The car seems to be uh, handling it quite well. Like we're in a little bit of a pavement section now because there's different layouts. There's a full pavement section as well as rally cross shorts. This one, this car is super gripped up on the pavement, but not so much on the dirt. It looks like we're just back to where we kind of started. So we're going to switch this, go back to bits. We're going to go in third person. Then I definitely want to see that jump in from replay angle. It's weird how my... It keeps bogging out sometimes. Wow, this is super loose and super crazy on the dirt. And I think my bump stops are definitely not, uh, not happy right now. It's just massive amounts of throttle play. Is that... Oh, downhill jump section. We got it again that time. Oh, almost died. The track would have went that way. It would have been so much better. Except this car is so gripped up right now. Probably should have dialed some grip out of it, but was not sure. How this was gonna react in the dirt. I think it might be fun to bring an actual rally cross car on this track and see if we can actually drive it in a rally cross configuration is too. Oh, it does not like jumps. This car does not know how to handle jumps, which is quite understandable since it is a competition drift car, not a rally cross car. Overall, actually handling this quite well. Quick flick this way, back into fourth. I think you can see the grip up of this thing. Kind of have to do a lot of clutch slipping to keep it in power. I believe this is kind of right where we were ending. We could fish our way through there. So let's go take a look at that jump in that replay. Because I'd be very curious what a replay run looks like. It does look like we have a replay camera. So we do have a replay camera. So we're going to take a look at this replay of that first run. Just to see what it actually looked like. Because the replay may be a cool angle. 
Is his car is just skating on the dirt. I would say I did a little dirt drop there, but the whole run is a dirt drop. Well, overall, I was actually kind of uh, impressed with how well the car actually handled on the dirt. So that's actually kind of a uh, a cool thing to see. There it was. Almost 90. How close were we to the wall? Oh, wow. We were really close. I was not sure how close we were on the exit. Dead lady just staring off into space. Definitely very interesting to try to bring a 900 horsepower drift car out into a rally cross course. But it's actually kind of fun also because you know, the pavement changes to the dirt changes. So that's something that's definitely was very different to say the least. And it's not like those jumps. Did not know how to settle in those jumps that well with the suspension the way it's set up. I'm sure you could lift the car up a little bit higher adjust the dampening get it to drive this course very well as you can see how much it was just bouncing around so i think we're gonna go get a rally cross car and we're gonna actually try and drive a rally cross car i believe i do have one or two all-wheel drive rally cross cars um in a set of courses so we're gonna see drive this course in an actual rally cross situation and see how it drives so let's go grab that car catch you guys back when we're on pits So we do have Kent Block's Rally Cross Focus. So we're gonna go take this and see what we can do in this thing. Little all-wheel drive. Oh, it oh, does not want to grip. I think this thing is on tarmac tires. We gotta induce some slides. Oh, we're dead. I think we may have driven this course better in the rip car, honestly. Well, we'll give it our best effort. I get a little bit of a hang of it. We do gotta get the car into a slide, which is very different for me doing all wheel drive sliding. Ooh. Honestly, I think I was better in the real drive car. We may have to get this car on some dirt tires because. It's on hard tarmac, so. And I'm actually not sure what tune is set up at. Apparently I could drive real drive cars way better than I could slide around all of the drive cars. But we're gonna give that one more go. Of course, in third like we did with the other one. Out of pits and already sliding as you can see. Oh. Rear drive, I feel, is much more my style. That just can't get the style of driving the four wheel drive, all wheel drive. Oh, slide. As you can see, we are definitely on the struggle bus with I just want to throw so much more counter and I know that's not how this is supposed to be driven. It's just way too much trying to throw too much angle. That was good, but they counter too much. I just got to let it slide. So definitely a challenge driving an all-wheel drive car on oh, 
this track, part of this design, to probably slide around and do Gymkhana stuff, which I feel like we could do with this car and maybe do a Gymkhana style drive versus real drive car. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comment section down below. Because I can't handle all wheel drive at all with this car. Maybe we could try a different car. Maybe we can grab a rally car, an actual rally car.